Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and check out Carl's host on the ESP32 S2 boards um, using the web installer. Now, the web installer, all it requires is just to jump on the website, plug in your board, and you can go ahead and flash it. There's no need to download any programs. So, I thought I'd make a little video and we'd go through the steps. So I've already loaded up the web host as you can see right now. My board is plugged in and it's ready to be flashed. So we'll go ahead and hit connect. And as you can see our com does come up. You may have multiple here, just scroll through and you should be able to find which one's yours. But go ahead and hit connect. Give it a few moments here, it shouldn't take too long to get connected. But as you can see the dashboard does come up. Now you can view the logs and the console um, for just a basic, you won't need that, so we'll just go ahead and stick with install the PS4 trainer. And then it gives us a message indicating that it's going to erase everything off the board. And if you're going to go ahead and flash it, you know that you're going to erase everything because you'll want the new stuff. So we'll go ahead and hit install now. And we'll give it a few moments here. It will start the erasing process and then it will start the flashing. It does take a little bit of time to actually flash it. So I will skip ahead once we do see that it is starting to flash. So it should just start any moment now. It doesn't usually take this long to, fla or to erase. Okay, and there you go. So it's starting to install the flash now. Give it a few seconds just to give us a percentage. And there we go, 4%. So I'm going to go ahead and just skip ahead. Okay, guys, so we're just about done, 99%, 100%, wrapping up the stuff now. It shouldn't take too long to wrap up, and we should be good to go. Usually only takes a few seconds, and there we go, installation complete. Go ahead and just hit next, and you're good to go. So we'll go ahead and get it unplugged. Um, plug it into our PlayStation and we'll get that turned on. Okay, so now that we're over to the PS4, we'll go ahead and log in. Once we are logged in, we can jump over to our settings. Go to our network. And we just want to make sure connect to the internet is checked. And we'll go ahead and select set up internet connection. We use Wi-Fi. Go with easy. Give it a few moments to load up the Wi-Fi connections. The one we're looking for is Carl. And we'll go ahead and select it. And for the password, it's just 1 to 8. And go ahead and hit R2 for done. And then OK. Give it a few moments here just to finish the settings. You should see setting up network environment. And that doesn't take long at all. And we should be ready to go. OK, so we'll go ahead and back out of there. We don't need to connect or to test the internet connection. Um, there's two ways to get in. You can go in through the user guide and select the user guide. But for the first time, I do recommend going through the browser just so you can go ahead and close out uh, everything and just clear up everything in your browser. Same with browser history. Just make sure everything is good. Go into settings and delete your cookies and clear your website data as well. And then back out completely and just launch your browser. It should automatically redirect. And as you can see, it does come up. So we do have the trainers here. And we do have at 9 Zero, zero. So we'll go ahead and select 900 zero, zero. and we'll just confirm that the jailbreak does work and everything is set properly. So we should see the message on support of file system pop up. Okay, so it's loading the XFAT now, so we should see that message now pop up. There we go. And then jailbreak should be done. There we go. Jailbreak done. So let's go ahead and launch the Goal 10 2.1.2. Okay, load it. And there we go. We see it. Okay, so there's the other payloads you can go ahead and launch if you want. Uh, Orbis's toolbox is there. You can go ahead and launch that as well. Okay, load it. Should see it. There we go. Let's go ahead and try PS4 trainers. Um, just go ahead and see if it comes up. I know earlier when I clicked on it, it gave me an error, but then if I selected it again, it came up with no issues. Okay. So let's go ahead and just hit our PlayStation button. I'm not sure exactly what is going on with it, but uh, if you back out and just come back in, it loads up with no issues. Not a big problem. 
but yeah guys that's it, basically it for the video I just want to jump on show you that you can flash it with the website instead of using uh, Indrono or anything like that there your flashing tool um, it just makes it a lot more convenient you don't have to worry about downloading anything as all you need to do is plug it in and jump on the website so I will leave a link in the description of the web host you can go ahead and check it out and flash your board this does work for the ESP8266 as well so you can give that a try um, but yeah if you like the video go ahead and hit that like button and if you're not subscribed already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching